it's been about a year now since I've posted the single pedal slide technique explanation video and uh, I've had a lot of good comments and a lot of good questions uh, I get a lot of emails asking how to do different things and stuff I just didn't think to cover on the video so I decided I would go ahead and post another one so I want to thank everybody for commenting and asking questions and uh, subscribing and just being my friends on there so uh, anyways just uh, keep watching my videos and keep asking questions because I love to answer and help out and uh, yeah, it's going to cover everything that's been asked uh, over the past year uh, through email, the wall, all different kinds of things on there. So one of the most popular questions uh, involves the pedals that I use. Okay, this is the Pearl Eliminator. One of my friends actually <laughs> fixed it so that the beater was all the way down here because this is not the one I use actually. This is the, uh, the single version I had before I got doubles. These aren't exactly the most recommended on metal. I've used them since I started playing, and there are several different adjustments. Some of them are good for jazz, some are good for metal. Uh, the one I currently play with, I don't let me go check. Uh, the blue cam is what I currently play with. It's jacked up. Uh, you can adjust the rear uh, to be closer or higher, just basically adjusting the angle. It's not the world's best pedal. I would recommend Axis if you can afford it, but really you can do this technique with any pedal. It doesn't matter. I've sat down on some really, really crappy drum sets with some nasty pedals that been around since the Stone Age and still pulled this thing off just as if I was playing on a, a, a nice a nice Pearl Eliminator or an Axis pedal. While you're watching this video, just keep in mind you don't have to have a specific kind of pedal to do this. It's not any special trick or anything like that. It is with one foot. It is, uh, it is done with any kind of pedal. Just don't get discouraged. This uh, this technique takes a long time to learn. Some people get it right off the bat, some people don't, but um, everyone is capable of doing this. You just take perseverance, practice, watch this video several times, and uh, it'll help you out. All right, let's take you over to my drum set. Um, we have the eliminator pedal here, eliminator pedal there. A lot of questions that I get is about the tension. Um, the tension is actually pretty irrelevant. It's really about personal preference. Uh, it doesn't have a whole lot of bearing on it. Um, practicing with high tension really helps your speed and your endurance. Uh, lately I've been using loose tension and I find it to be more comfortable to me. So, I mean, any way you want to play, just find your comfort zone uh, and that's, that's the easiest way to do it. I get a, a lot of other questions about my bass drum and how it sounds. Um, there's nothing special about it. I've got a uh, little sticker there that's uh, made of plastic and uh, I've beat the crap out of it so it's got a lot of wear and tear on it. But still, it keeps you from busting your head and um, it also, uh, I guess, gives it a little bit of a snap. Uh, I haven't noticed much of a difference, but um, anyways, you've got um, also uh, padding is very important. Um, as you can see, I had like a quilt in there. That's really important for your sound. I prefer deadening up the bass as much as you possibly can. That gives you more rebound and it gives you a dead sound. And I always have had a problem with the resonating drum sound. It's good for jazz, I guess, but you know. I think that a good snap out of your bass is a more quality sound to me. Next thing. I use the plastic tips on the beaters. It's a quad beater. They come with the standard eliminator pedal. Um, you can switch it from the felt side or the, uh, the plastic side. I use plastic because you get a snap out of it and that in conjunction with the dead bass and the, the bass sticker thing on there, it really gets a good clicking sound and a really clean and really fast snappy. That's what you want. Alright, now that we're all the way through the other stuff, we can uh, Get started on the actual technique itself. Um, I'm going to show you two things. Uh, I'm going to show you a, a double and a triple. This is done with a single bass. It's just a quick, get my pants out of the way, it's a quick slide. Basically this technique consists of one swift movement. It's uh, from the rear of the pedal to the front, or actually from the middle of the pedal to the front. And uh, it has two hits. The first hit is while your foot is pressed in the center uh, the middle of the pedal and then moving to, to the front, finishing the movement. So you're going to have a swift, uh, sweeping forward mo motion. I get a lot of questions asking if I play heel-toe, and I keep my heels up most of the time. Uh, it gives you a lot of uh, power, a lot of speed, and uh, it works every time. There's. Anyways, when you're doing this, you're going to keep your heel up and get an initial hit here, and let your foot continue to slide forward and finish another hit here. The basic principle of this uh, technique is one swift sliding motion. 
Um, and it's not necessarily a complete slide, your foot is going to bounce. Your foot pretty much maintains contact with the pedal uh, throughout the entire movement. And uh, you get an initial hit in the middle of the pedal and finish with a final hit here that gets you the double. And uh, you basically apply pressure here, slide forward, and get a final hit here, giving you the double hit that you so desire. It's very helpful if you're stuck with a single kick or if you just want to show off, it's just kind of fun. A lot of, this, a lot of drum solos that you hear will have a, a drum solo that incorporates two hits on a snare or a tom and then a answer double, double bass hit. And you can do that simply with this, with this single te te technique with one foot. Um, two hits on the snare and then a response. It's a really cool thing uh, because you can avoid using a double pedal with that sort of thing. You can use that in uh, rhythms and beats and it's very helpful. Finally, when you get the technique down, where you can do it pretty clearly with one foot, then uh, you can also add a third hit at the end with your left. And uh, I'm working on getting the slide down with my left, and it's going to take some time, which I'd really love to do uh, some double bass work, getting a one, two, one, two. That would be really nice and awesome in, uh, in a fairy tale land, and I'm going to work on it. So I've got something to work on while you guys are working on this, and uh, hopefully I'll have a video for you guys when I get the left foot going. and. Uh, if my theory is correct, it can work towards some very fast double bass work by getting a double hit here and double hit there. Until that time, which I long for dearly, uh, I'm just going to add a third hit, getting a triple. This is extremely helpful during uh, drum rolls. Um, I like to incorporate a four hit, a four hits on a tom uh, or a snare or whatever you want to roll with, and uh, adding a triplet in between, uh, adding a triplet in between. Now this is not going to be exactly mathematically sound with the rest of the beat because you have four here and three here, but if you time it correctly you can use the bass as a sort of roll instead of an actual uh, beat count. It fills in the space and it makes, it makes a really clean transition to the next tone. That's the basic movement. My favorite and most effective way to use this technique is through rolls. What you got? Four hits? That's all you got. An interesting way that you can use this is during a beat, just straight through. that I've been working on lately really incorporates this uh, roll into a beat, so it's kind of cool. If you have any other emails or any other questions, feel absolutely free to email me them. I answer rather quickly, and I'm always happy to help out. So, And uh, thanks a lot, everyone, and I hope you enjoy it. This is one of those uh, kind of techniques that takes some time, and like I said, it comes to some people really quickly, but you know, it will come to you. Just keep practicing. Uh, if you have having trouble with it, then uh, like I said, feel free to email me and ask me any kind of questions that you would have. Um, but yeah, don't give up practicing. Stay with it, and you'll be extremely happy with your desired result when uh, you are able to pull off the single pedal slide technique, and then you can show your friends and family and It'll be all kinds of fun like that, and then you can throw a party. Have a festive event because you have achieved this level. Parade, a ballroom dance, coronation, glorious and wonderful holiday.